Hi, and welcome to Return of Israel. I'm Anthony Abba. The anniversary of one of the greatest interventions of God revealing Himself to His creation will take place in just a few days. It's a time-honored event that's endured for thousands of years and constitutes the very essence and fabric of what it is to be Jewish and connected to the will of God. But is this just a holiday and a commemoration for the Jewish people? Or does it involve others as well? Yes, this weekend is in fact a celebration, a feast that Christians also honor on the very same day. So what is this feast and celebration all about? Well, for the Jews, it's a celebration of Shavuot. When God descended and met His servant prophet Moses at Mount Sinai to give him the Torah, Bible instructions. Now for Christians, it's known as Pentecost, which comes from the Greek word pente, meaning 50. So Christians commemorate that very special day when the fire fell from heaven and introduced a completely new spiritual experience, which many consider as the very inauguration of the Christian church. So yes, it is a monumentally important event that's coming up this weekend for both Jews and Christians to celebrate. And this event happened after the meticulous counting of precisely 50 days. So why the 50 days? 50 days after what? What is the significance? Well, to understand that, it all begins with the Jewish people back in Egypt when they sacrificed and killed the Passover lamb that was killed for its blood to be applied to the doorposts of Jewish homes in order to spare them from the plague of death that was going through the land and killing all the firstborn. God knew in His infinite wisdom that then, 50 days after this incredible event of the blood of the Lamb being applied to the doorposts of the house, that the Jewish people would come and arrive at the foot of Mount Sinai. Now at Sinai, God descended to give Moses, his prophet, the instructions for life as recorded in the Torah and the Bible. And these instructions were also something that revolutionized the then-known world and even formed the basis of virtually every legal system in the world that exists right up until today. Because there, what makes Shavuot so important is the celebration of God descending and revealing Himself 50 days later. So first and foremost, Shavuot is a time to commemorate the manifestation of God into our physical world like had never, ever happened before. But it's also important to know why God descended. Now, you know that Return of Israel, our focus and our endeavor is to support the Jewish people in their mission for complete restoration throughout all the land of Israel. But what does this event of Shavuot have to do with Jewish restoration and sovereignty? Let's think about that for a moment. And I want to give you three important points to consider. Because number one, this coming weekend, the celebration of God descending is a celebration to a specific nation and people whose defining foundation began at Sinai with the very Word of God. And number two, the giving of those instructions of Torah occurred at a certain season of time. It was when the Jews were midway through the journey, and so they received these instructions for what was to come later once they entered the Promised Land. And of course, the third point is the destination, the Promised Land. So this Shavuot or Pentecost, we are now also celebrating the miracle of how God has brought the Jewish people back into their ancestral homeland after 2,000 years of exile. But what are the Jewish people supposed to do in the land? Remember, they're not yet the people that God intended them to be. But now, after 70 years of political waffling and vacillating, Israel is finally poised to take some very important steps in the coming months, and that is to annex much of the Jordan Valley, Judea, and Samaria. Now, these steps are important and are necessary for the redemption of the coming Messiah, and it's a redemption that is only possible when the Jewish people are free to serve God under their own self-determination and sovereignty in the land that God gave them to be the people that God intended them to be. So what can we do? That's why I'm inviting you to help in this process, this Shavuot, by joining us and signing the Declaration of Support for Jewish Rights and Sovereignty at our website, returnoisrael.org declaration. 
and we can make a difference. I sincerely thank you for watching and also want to urge you, let us pray and let us call out for God to manifest and descend into our world again for the redemption that we're all waiting for. Thank you and God bless you. Anthony Abner for Return to Wisdom.